Good morning, beautiful people. Sasirikal, Namaste, Salaam. If you're watching the vlog for the very first time, welcome. My name is Um, and it's a rainy Monday. I'm chilling out today. I'm just working away. Girls are upstairs. Um, they're just doing their thing. Um, they're home for spring break. They're gonna go over to mom and dad soon. They're just gonna come grab them. I'll be working away. Big game today, uh, Chelsea United game. I'm gonna see if I can get a chance to watch it. it starts at 12:45, I think. Um, but I'll probably be working. Um, I'm not feeling confident about it, to be honest with you. Um, Chelsea is the number one team in the league right now. They thrashed us 4-0. And uh, we're a depleted, decimated team with injuries and yellow cards and whatever it is. So uh, <laughs> it's going to be interesting to see. But uh, nonetheless, it'll be a good game to watch. So hopefully I'll catch that. But I'm going to continue to work here and uh, try to get some stuff done. 5 o'clock fam. I've been working all the way through. I had a quick break for lunch. Didn't even get to watch the United game. We lost anyways. What a shitty way to start uh, Monday. Um, so they're out of the FA Cup. Whatever. You know, you lose some, you win many, right? I'm um, just working away. I'm going to go upstairs now. The girls are home. I'm going to drop them off later on to mom and dad's. So I'm going to see what they want for dinner. i got to sort myself out as well. Uh, wifey's going to be late. So I'm not sure what she's going to have. So I'm going to call her and figure that out as well. It's a shame I didn't get anything done. Usually Mondays I try to knock off some videos at lunch. But... I just didn't get a chance, man. I've been so busy. Um, all that stuff on the YouTube side has been really slacking, although I've maintained the daily vlog, but that's okay because I, you know, edit that at nighttime. And, you know, so it's not too bad. But the other stuff is different. It takes um, longer to record. It takes longer to edit because there's certain things i got to get done. But um, that's fine. I'm going to go upstairs, like I said, and see what the girls are up to, see what they want for dinner. So fam, girls are all at mom and dad's. They're over there. Wifey went over there too. She wanted to see them because they're staying over there. So she, you know, went over there to say goodnight and stuff. I'm actually gonna get a, uh, grab a quick bite to eat. I've been so busy with work. I've done absolutely nothing. Just been locked and loaded, starving. I'm gonna quickly go to my favorite faux place because it's quick and easy. I'm gonna come back and jump back and get straight to work again. So yeah, it's just, uh, just one of those days, man. <laughs> run in here have some dinner I'm gonna head home straight back to work it's getting pretty dark out here guys stuffed feel good feel full give me that burst of energy I need so I can crank out some more work now in the next couple hours before I go to sleep tomorrow's Tuesday which means I got to go into the office um, I don't have the girls because they're storing they're staying over at uh, mom and dad's so I don't have to get up super early drop them off to the school and stuff which is a nice change. So yeah, let's head home now. 8.30ish, just waiting for wifey to get home. I just came back upstairs. I wanna work from upstairs, man. I'm tired of sitting downstairs in my little office. So, um, you know, I'm gonna put the TV on the background and just kinda chillax all the way through before I go to bed. Wanna talk to you guys about something. Um, I've said this many, many times in videos before. Uh, I'm the kind of person that likes to take action. And whether that's a wrong action or not, or something that blows up in my face, I'm a man of action. Um, See, in life, you know, you're gonna find people that make tons of excuses or you're gonna find people that make shit happen. And at some point, you need to decide who you wanna be. Um, I personally, you know, like to side with people that make action. You know, I've got friends, my colleagues, everyone that I'm surrounding myself around are people that, you know, take calculated risks, but they do something, they take some sort of action. You know, don't be scared of taking some sort of action. You know, as long as you got your, you know, your calculated risks all sort of taken care of, you cross your T's, dotted your I's, you know, you need to pull the trigger at some point. And I know it's probably one of the scariest things you're ever gonna do, but you know, you're never gonna know what the result is or, you know, if you never pull the trigger, right? And I just can't be in a position where 15 years from now, 20 years from now, I'm gonna regret something in life that I, you know, that I, could have done, you know, and don't get me wrong, there's some, there's some stuff I obviously regret, you know, stupid shit that I've done, but I'm talking in terms of like, you know, business stuff or, you know, doing some online stuff, whatever it is, you know what I mean? Like, I, I want to be able to fulfill, you know, my life 
and be able to tell my kids that I did everything I possibly could to give you guys a great life. You know what I mean? And the only way you're going to do that is by committing to some sort of action, firing and sticking to it and committing to it. Um, you know, it's one thing to talk about stuff and it's one thing to, you know, blame other people and, you know, this didn't work out for me and blah, blah, blah. Like, those are people that make excuses, right? Like, you know, I can make excuses too. The weather was cold or this and that, but you know, at the end of the day, I could have, you know, gone downstairs and stuck a heat on the garage and still worked on the car. But I used the excuse that it was, you know, it was cold. I mean, I'll give you an example, you know what I mean? Like, that wasn't on my priority list, but, um... I'm just trying to give you an example like you know I can make an excuse about you know anything to get out of doing some real work and my recommendation is guys is find that willpower inside of you where you can pull the trigger and do some real good work you know something that may take you to the next level somewhere you know that may take you you know you and your family for that you know that wonderful vacation that you guys wanted like I'm not I'm not here to tell you you know that you're gonna be rich or you know you're gonna be millionaires or some of that that's not what I'm trying to say I'm trying you know I'm talking about small steps you know what I mean like for example you know maybe you want to sell your car right or maybe you want to start a side hustle or side business you know you can you can start doing stuff to prepare for that I'm not saying you dive right in and go in 100% but you know maybe you need to pick up that idea or whatever it is or maybe you need to call somebody or maybe you need to get some information you know do stuff like that build small little things to you know because all these small little things will add up to one big thing you know what i'm saying so i just, I just want to get that off my chest because i've been talking to a lot of people uh this week at work too you know because it's a busy time of the year and people just fed up some people just don't like their job or they want to move on to something else but they stay in that same sort of rut because they can just never commit to anything my uh, conversation back to them is always look you know what it's one thing to say that you want to you know do something or make some change but the desire inside of you that's got to be strong enough or it's burning you inside, you know, that you need to change, it will change. You know, like I have that burning desire that I want to be able to be, you know, provide the best for my family at any cost. That's my burning desire. And every day I don't reach my goals, I feel like a failure. And that's that's me though, right? I mean, I'm not, not everyone's like me. So whatever your burning desire is, whatever it is that you want to do, it's got to be strong enough where you're going to make action and stop making excuses. So like I said, you know, find that willpower inside you, stop making excuses, and take some action. It's like almost 10 o'clock, found time to wind down. Um, just chilling, just working away a little bit. As I've mentioned many, many times, March 31st, it's gonna be gung-ho, and it's probably gonna slow down for about a month. Um, but we'll see how it goes. I say that, but then who knows what's gonna happen. Mind you, I'm still pretty busy. Um, tomorrow is Tuesday, so I'll be heading into the uh, office for a little bit. Um, girls went up skating this week, so I don't necessarily have to rush back. But we'll see. Um, see what uh, the situation is tomorrow. And hopefully the weather gets better. It's supposed to rain all week, which kind of sucks. But, um, you know, they can start getting back in the garage and work on the cars. Uh, Mustang's almost ready, which is nice. I'm going to fire that up hopefully this week. Just a couple of little minor things to do. Bolt the seats in. And stuff like that wire the speakers and stuff and then I can do that later on but I really want to get that stuff done so I can button it all up so I'm really excited about that but I want to say for watching the vlog for the very first time you know what? thank you very much really appreciate it please subscribe be part of the family if you want to see more vlogs just like this please click on the on the sky of course to my peeps be you stay optimistic enjoy the rest of your night here's a big high five for me to all of you